Hopefully, third time it's a charm because it's my third time trying to record this. Okay. Passion is everything when it comes to stepping into self. It's your girl, Poe. P-O-E, your favorite tree. If you want to follow me, you can check me out at Poeism. Peace. So, this is going to be my skincare, not a routine, because that's unrealistic. Having a skincare routine comes with the assumption that you don't experience any other issues that may affect the progress of your, you know, skin health, meaning periods, stress, um, depression, and food, you know, it's other things, um, allergies, and um, skin, like there's so many different things that happens with our skin, or that could happen with our skin, and um, it's very hard to have a routine if you don't know what's going to happen to your skin, so I try to step away from routine and just make sure I have the right things around me so that I could be able to listen to my skin and give it what it needs when it needs it. So with that being said, I also want to say that what we put in our bodies, inside of our bodies, what we eat, what we drink, heavily affects the outside of our so much so we have to be very aware and very adamant and very intentional about the stuff that we're giving ourselves because ultimately that is the issue not necessarily certain products no matter how fancy or clean or natural it is it doesn't matter what you put on top of your face if what you're putting inside is garbage okay so remember that Right, so if you want to try the things that I'm doing, I'm just showing it to share. But if you want to try the things and the products that I'm using, you can. But that does not mean it's going to work for you, right? And that doesn't mean that that fits with whatever you need at that very moment, right? We have to be aware of that and be realistic about that. So, boom, let's get into it. Nine times out of ten, I'm using organic African black soap. Um, and African black soap isn't usually the color black, it's usually brown, um, and I just don't use this whole thing, of course, I break it up in pieces, and I use a lather, I make a lather, and I use it on my face. Never, ever, ever put this directly on your skin, on your face, and use it, it is too, too potent, too strong, it's also, it also works as an exfoliator, so you could be you know, making tiny little scratches on your face, um, abrasions on your face, and you don't want that. So always make a lather, a lather. This is very, very strong. This is fragrance free. It is um, sulfate free. It's chemical free. It's literally of the earth. Use this right here. This, um, which you honestly could get anywhere, but it's like a facial pad, um, and I use it to take off my makeup I also use it to wash my face too they are washable so they're reusable um and clearly it helps with the earth it's natural like you don't have to waste like makeup wipes or anything like this is good and it comes with like 15 in a pack so i would use all like 15, all 15 with like within a week and then i would just wash them all and then reuse them is washed um, this is right now is one of my favorite um masks it's a clay mask an avocado and oatmeal clay mask it's a deep cleanser and it's really good i use this after i manually wash my face so that i get everything else in there everything else and i let it sit um and then of course wash it off. So this is the mask dry. I'ma just I 
after I deep cleanse my face, I micro blade. Now micro blade, even though it's like a regular razor, the blade on it is a little bit small. Not a little bit, but it is smaller than a regular razor. So that it could get the small things on your face. And I use this to go across on my face to get hair, um, my mother's hair, but like hair, um, and dry skin and stuff that like either me washing or deep cleansing could not get and half the time it's usually something my face feels so clean and smooth after and especially when I put my makeup on after oh my god micro bleed and you could honestly search up a micro bleed and get it anywhere if you ever gotten like a professional like facial before they micro bleed your face that's why your face feels so like clean after so yeah When it comes to sealing the moisture on my face, I use black castor oil, which honestly, you can't even see the, this is for hair, but so you know what black castor oil is. Everybody knows what black castor oil is. Um, use black castor oil. This is for under my eyes. Honestly, you could use anything with a ball that could be cold or whatever for the under my eyes. And this to help apply some of the stuff so I'm not using my fingers. Um, spreading around bacteria, maybe I'm like a mini germaphobe, but um, yeah, I use this, which is almost gone. It's my favorite, it's an overnight moisture mask, but I love putting it on after I do my whole thing because it's just my face just feels so supple and like, like it's you know, like it's just drunk water or something. Um, this is super berry with maki vitamin c use to the people it's really good it's almost done clearly like only got a couple words and then this is what i use under my eyes it's an eye cream um and this is from oliveta it is olive oil based um which some people sleep on olive oil some people sleep on olive oil for your hair your face people don't use it for cooking but it's where it's at <laughs> This is literally how I would like, take care of my face. I would just let everything kind of like sit because you can still kind of see like my cream and my moisturizer, but like I just let it sit and see my face. And I just want to wear makeup for like a day or two. That's a lot of time. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.